scissors, 4.5 millimeter hook, pink yarn, and red yarn for the feet, and felts for details, polyfill for stuffing, pins, and glue. So this is what we're gonna make today. It's a Kirby holding a heart, but we're not going to make the heart today. We're just going to make the body. You can add anything that you like later, if you would like. We're just gonna make the body, I mean the Kirby, without the heart. So with the materials we gathered, First, we're going to grab our 4.5 millimeter hook and the pink yarn. To start, make a magic ring. Wrap your yarn around your fingers. Put your hook in and pull and chain one. That's the magic ring. And we're going to put six single crochets in the magic ring. Two, one, three, four, five, and six. I forgot to mention that we are going to need a stitch marker because we are going to be making the Kirby in the rounds instead of slip stitch and chain one so yeah we'll need a stitch marker so pull that tail now we're going to increase six times to increase i'm trying to put the hook in there to increase one single crochet and another single crochet in one stitch like so we're gonna keep doing this until we at the end we should have 12 single crochets that's four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's how you increase. Put two single crochet in one stitch. So now we have twelve stitches, single crochet stitches. So the third round. Start by put in one single crochet in the first stitch. Put your stitch marker back. And in the next stitch, we're going to increase. So put two single crochets in one stitch. And one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch. Repeat the pattern until you get to the end of the round. So that's one single crochet and two in the next. Now that we've finished the third round, For the fourth round, we're going to start by putting one single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase in the next. So single, single, increase. One single crochet, one single crochet and two in the next. That's an increase. 
one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase repeat this until the end of the round and you should have 24 single crochets that you finished the fourth round you should have 24 single crochets or stitches for the fifth round we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches so one two three single crochets and then an increase So three single crochet in the next three, uh, I meant one single crochet in the next three stitches, sorry, and an increase in the next. So one, two, three single crochets, and then an increase. I'm sorry if that was confusing. So one single crochet in the next three, one, two, three, and then an increase. So we'll get through this round. One, two, three single crochet, and then an increase. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. And then now we have 30 single crochets in this round. To start the sixth round, we're going to single crochet in the we're going to make one single crochet in in the next four stitches one two three and four and then an increase in the next stitch one and an increase One, two, three, and four, then increase. And then we should have 36 single crochets at the end of the round. And I also forgot to mention that we are going to, we are creating this body from the bottom to up. So, this part will be the bottom of the Kirby's body. And then now we four, then increase. Now we have thirty six single crochets. Okay, so for the seventh round, we're going to put five single, I mean the one single crochets, one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll put an increase. And just keep going with the pattern. So five single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase. And at the end of the round, we should have 42 single crochets. Now that we have finished our seventh round, we have 42 single crochets in the round in total. Now we're going to single crochet 
in the round for 10 rounds. So keep uh, counting. Um, don't lose um, the count. So I'm going to make 10 round ten rounds of no increase, just 42 single crochets in the round. For the next 10 rounds, and I'll be back and show you what to do next. Okay, sorry. So to start the round after 10 rows of single crochets, that's 42 stitches, we're going to um, start decreasing. And to do that, uh, we're going to make single crochet in the next five stitches. Oops, my stitch marker. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five single crochet. Now we're going to decrease. So to decrease, there are two ways. The first way is to put your hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn. Put your hook, ne hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn and pull through all three. That's the first. And then the second method is called invisible decrease. So to do that, put your hook into the front loop only of the next stitch. And again, Put your hook into the next stitch only, I mean <laughs> front loop only, to the next stitch of the front loop only. And now we pull the yarn of the two loops and pull through two again. So let's do this again. So um, you can choose whichever you, you'd like to use, but I'm just using the invisible decrease. So one, two, three, four, five single crochet and then decrease. Front loop only, front loop only, pull and pull. I'll do this again with you. Three, four, five single crochet now. Front loop only. Now front loop only of the next stitch and pull and pull. Five single crochet, front loop only, front loop only, pull, pull. So that's the pattern for the decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. Now for the next round, so not next round. Um, so far in this round we have, so we have thirty six single crochets. In the next round we're just going to single crochet all the way, all the way around. So we'll still have thirty six. So let's do that and come back. Now that you finished the round. You still have 36 single crochets. Now we're going to uh, decrease again. So four single crochet in the next, I mean, uh, single crochet in the next four stitches. One, don't forget the stitch marker. Two, three, and four. Now decrease, make one decrease, and then four single crochet, decrease. So 
So four single crochet in one decrease, do that for this entire round and you should end up with 30 single crochets. Now for the next round we're going to make one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, three. And then make a decrease. So do that for the entire round. And I'll show you what to do next in the next round. So this round is three single crochet and decrease and you should have um, 24 single crochets and for the next round we're going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches one two this is very important stitch marker is very important because you might lose where you started so so after two single crochets make a decrease it might be too late to say but if you if you lose sight of um where where to crochet in the next stitch after the decrease because it's kind of hard to tell just look at the back because we decreased in the front of the bondi and if you pull the work like this you can tell which stitch you worked on so for me it's like right here it's too bright I think but yeah this stitch I worked on so the next stitch is this one Okay, so two single crochet and then a decrease. One, two, decrease. And then for this round you will end up with 18 single crochets. So after you're done with making two single crochet and one decrease, so you end up with 18 single crochets this round, you will want to start putting the stuffing. I have here the polyfill I got from was it Joanne a while ago you can get it from literally anywhere any craft stores or Amazon I like to put a lot of um, fluff in there because yeah, it will be more round and try to push it in and make the shape. We have about, not about, we have two more rounds to go until we can close this. So I just want to make sure that I put the polyfill before it's too late yes okay. it's very cute already very round I 
think more. Right here. Okay, now we're go we can put a little bit more later before we close the end. Okay, so now we're going to make one single crochet and then decrease. And you will end up with 12 single crochets. One single crochet. And then a uh, decrease. One single crochet. Decrease. It's going to be twelve stitches, single crochets. I'll meet you back when I'm done with the round. Now, if you are happy with how it looks, you can close it, but I'm going to put a little bit more fluff stuff in, in here. Did I say that? Uh, we, we still have one more round, but I think it looks good. Now, last round, we're going to make six, in, uh, six decreases. just a ball right now but it will look better once we add the details so oh, this stitch is a little bit funny I don't know what I did One, two, three, oops, Three. My cat is playing with the phone case. Four. Five. And six. So I just did six decreases now. I don't know how people do this, but I'll just make a slip stitch in the next stitch.
T1. And then we'll cut a long thread, leave a tail, and cut, pull, tie, and grab your yarn needle or darning needle. Thread it through the needle. What did I just? This one. Okay. I'm gonna zoom out. Hopefully. When I zoom out, it doesn't focus, so I just zoom in and then like this. Works, I guess. Now what I do is just like close it. Going through like the loops on the top of the work. It's good, uh, but I just go in to these loops as well. Now you can stick your darning needle in the, the body. Four. So it's closed like this. So like I said, we worked from bottom to up, so this is the top, this is the bottom, yeah. And then once you put the yarn in the body, what I do is just, because it's the same color, nobody will really notice, what, but I just put your needle between the loops. Like this, pull through, don't pull too tight. Now we go back in, and do the same. Then go back in. Now we can tie it off. Once you tied it. Just pull lightly and then cut. Now we're done with the body part. Okay, you can put this aside. We're going to make the arms or the hands now. So you can grab your 4.5 millimeter hook and then the yarn, make a magic ring. Put single crochets in the magic ring. 
six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Pull. Oops. So after you have made six single crochets in Magic Queen, we're going to make six six increases. So that's one. Um so two single crochets in the same stitch for the entire round. Second increase. Third increase. Four. Five. And six. Now we should have twelve single crochets. And then we're going to make one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then make one increase. Make one single crochet in the next three stitches and then make one increase in the next stitch. So increase is just two stitch two single crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, and then increase. Now we have 15 single crochets and we're going to make a single crochet in every stitch of the round. That's 15 single crochets. Five, ten, fifteen, and do this for another round. Now meet you back. So once you're done with 15 single crochets um, again, we're going to, to slip stitch and chain one and cut a long tail. Make another one of the same thing. You can just go back in the video. I made two arms. Now we're going to make the legs, I mean the feet, with the red yarn. My red yarn is tangled, so um, here we go. With the same hook. 4.5 millimeter hook. Okay, we're going to make six single crochets in the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to make six increases. So that's 12 stitches. Ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to one single crochet. And then increase in the next six times. So that's 18 stitches, one single crochet, and then an increase in the next. One single crochet, increase. Now you have 18 single crochets. We're going to make two rounds of single crochets. So no increase, no decrease, just two rounds of single crochet. Now meet you back. Now that we're done with two rounds of single crochet, so that's 18 single crochet still. We're going to make four single crochets and then decrease three times. So one, two, three, four, and then decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease. One, two, so we're done with the first foot. We're going to make the exact same one again. And I'll show you what to do after you're done. We're gonna assemble. Make sure to leave a long tail for sewing to the body. I forgot to say that at the end I did a slip stitch in the next stitch and then chain one and tie. So now that we have all our parts like details done, I'm gonna start by putting the arms, attaching the arms. Um, so we'll still need the polyfill. Let's put some polyfill in the hand. You can um, put the Kirby's um, feet and arms uh, wherever you like, but I'm just going to, to make it like how I made her, her this one. like. He's about to jump or like he's about to walk the motions like yeah, so The first arm Make sure that you have 
So where you ended the body is the top of the body. Since we made it bottom to up. Now we're going to attach the arm or left arm on top. And then we'll do it like this. So the right arm will come over here. It's really hard to tell with this angle, but I'm sorry about the lighting again. Um, it's very dark right now. Night. I'm using like my room lamp. So how I do this is just grab the stitch beneath the arm, right below, and then I take the back loop only. I don't do both loops, but it's really up to you, just like doing this way. Pick the stitch beneath. And then pick this back loop. I'll just show you one hand and you can, yeah. So I actually wanted to show you um, where I placed the right arm. So um, I placed the right arm a little bit towards the back of the Kirby's body. And then on about 10th row, this is the 10th row round. Yeah. And I'm just gonna sew it to the body. So for the face detail, I'm just cutting out some small pieces of belts. I'm starting with the black color. Also for the feet, I just put um, like a little bit below the right arm and then this is the left side, this is how it looks, seems like 3D kind of, I don't know if it's called 3D or, but yeah that's how I did. And just try to uh, see how that looks. 
So I just put the details together and now the Kirby is done. You can put like anything or you can leave it without but I put the first Kirby I did I put a strawberry on top and then next one I put heart on top yeah very cute thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um yeah good night Bye.